Hey guys, it's Sarah here today from Edge Come Out. Welcome to my ever messy art and design uh, studio. Today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a graphic design tutorial looking at Inkscape. We're going to be putting text along a wavy line and we're also going to be adding that text into our heart shape that we created in the last tutorial. Don't worry, I will very quickly go back over how to do that again. For those of you that don't know me, hi, welcome to the channel. Um, I post about print on demand and graphic uh, software tutorials and also fabric design and surface repeat patterns. I do a lot of fabric printing and that works quite well with my print on demand that I use to make a little bit of extra pennies from home. So if these things are your jam, please subscribe. It really helps out my channel if you give it a like or a subscribe. Just a quick little mention, I've had quite a few people this week, like probably five or six of you now, who have wanted me to do a tutorial on uh, making fabric designs that have a border on them. And I am going to be doing a tutorial on that soon. I just need to wait for a fabric delivery uh, to come so I can check the quality of my new print shops before I, uh, I give anyone any recommendations for that. Even though it won't be a border fabric that's coming, at least I might be able to have some answers for you on those questions. I have done a couple of these in the past and it's certainly also useful for Redbubble um, or other print on, um, print on demand um, options because you can create a non seamless pattern for your um, you know quilts and things over on Redbubble and so that's actually going to be quite handy for that as well so there will be a bit of crossover uh, so I'll be doing that in the next week or so so um, please please stay tuned for that anyway let's get into the tutorial looking at the text on the wavy line and also putting a, a word inside a shape All right, guys, so here we are over in Inkscape. For those of you that don't know, Inkscape is a free program that you can use to do um, graphic design in, which is fantastic, and I use it for quite a lot of things. So today we are going to be putting text on a wavy line and also putting some text inside a shape you can see here. Um, last lesson, I was showing you how to create the heart shape itself, and we're gonna start very quickly with that. So what you want to do is make it a square. You want that square here, let's get that right on out the way. It needs to be the same uh, height and width. So I'm just, doesn't matter what measurements it is, you can be working in millimeters, pixels or whatever, but obviously if you're needing it to export, you're gonna to need to make sure you're doing it roughly in the right size that you need. So you need a square, which I have made um, 300 by 300 millimeters and you also need your circle to be exactly the same so we're going to go 300 um, by 300 and we want to select so um, and I'll make sure I'm not in the way so shift click on the circle and hold it down for the square and you want to change both of them path object to path otherwise this bit won't work um, and then you just want to select your circle and when it snaps uh, custom node there we go that's what you want Oh, I have stroke on here. Let's get rid of that. So I'm just going to select probably both of these and go to fill in stroke. And yes, I have my um, uh, stroke set and I do not want a stroke on those. That's just the border um, around the outside and I don't want that at all. And oh no, it's just because I really hate that color, that's really disgusting. Let's change that there. Okay, and I am going to um, path and union those, and that just joins those two shapes, uh, joins those two shapes together. And then Control D, which is Control Duplicate, and then you can spin it around using this little arrow button up there, or you can move it around up to you. And we're just going to snap those together. They should go together really nicely, and select both those. And I'm actually just going to. Um, union those while I am there and then you can click on it um, and hold the control and see these other arrows turn up and you can spin that round to the front like that. Now we're going to need to put in our uh, stroke uh, paths on here so on fill and stroke and you can click onto here you're going to want to change the stroke paint here to actually having a stroke paint. Stroke style you're going to want mm, I think was it about seven Let's just go with seven um, on that. I think these ones might be a little bit thinner, but that's okay. We can go with that. Um, and we're also going to go to fill and we're going to remove the color from the, um, the center there. So don't just color it white. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a non-transparent design when you are um, 
uh, wanting to export that and that's probably not the look that you're looking for okay so now we have our shape we are going to change that make sure that is a um, path effect now we're going to choose our text so I'm going to be extremely original here and going to go with go with that now to change the size of the text you can either hold your control key and drag that to be the right size or you can go into text and font and change the um, change the font size and hit apply so you've got those two those two options there but I'm also going to change the um, uh, font over to this one here because I want something that's a little bit a little bit curly to go um, to go in there okay so we have this here just a very quick thing when you're working with the uh, text if you double click on it it brings up um, an extra menu that is up here and you can change if you sc scroll over these the spacing between the letters can change so if you hit 10 there um, you'll notice that when you've got uh, ones with the little cursor flicks and things off the sides of the letters that that might space them out too much for those to be useful but it's very good if you've got big blocky letters and you want to make them a little bit easier to read by spacing them out and that's a really good um, a really good tip but I'm actually just going to pop that down to five um, and this one here is space between words so that will increase the space between the edge and the art there which is not actually what I want um, and these other ones are the kerning we are going to use in a little minute so we'll get to that alrighty so we now have our um, our text and we need to get it onto our heart shape and the first thing we want to do now is check to make sure that our um, the object that we're putting our text on is a path so object a path that's very important it won't work um, if it's not and you want to select your text and you're going to hit shift and click on the heart shape and we're going to go text and put on path and it's going to put our text normally over on this side now that's not where I want my text um, if it is then that's fine um, I want mine to be um, the other way around so I've just hit the uh, flip objects to exactly get that in exactly the right spot you can also put your cursor there and hit the space button just be a bit careful because if you go all the way around the shape it kind of disappears I want my text to be um, somewhere in there but I do want it to come around just a little bit bigger bigger yes I do so I've just increased the font in there um, if you do it there's not saying if you do it this way um, you're going to end up with that uh, coming off the um, off the path that little bit there which is not what you're going to want to do um, so just increase it through the font size would be best and I'm just having a little bit of a look as to exactly where I want that place and that will do for the moment just for the um, tutorial but I don't want the text to be sort of sitting here I kind of want it like it's centered over the line that little bit better and that's where those other options come in that I showed you before so double click on your word and you're going to go up to the um, uh, this one here and you're going to hit just have a play with your settings whoops you do make sure your cursor is at the front of your word it's great if you want to do drop um, you know drop caps or something like that you could do that with it but you want to put your cursor at the front of your text not halfway in the middle and I'm just going to try 15 mm, that's probably a little bit too much let's try 10 and that's roughly where I want my text to be sitting but obviously I don't want this um, extra bit of the heart around the other side of it there so we are going to break the um, break this shape okay so if you click on it and you'll see that there are nodes and these nodes you can um, adjust just control Z that out of there and we want to remove a section from here down to about here um, have a bit of a think about where you want to break that um, and we'll just depends on your word and your text sometimes you might want to leave a gap and sometimes you might want it to come you know like into into the word so it's a little bit of a personal choice with that we're going to double click on the once you've got your shape your heart shape selected if you double click on it like that it will add a new node and you want to make sure that node is selected and you want to hit a break path at selected nodes okay and that will break the break the path of the um, shape and we're going to double click here and we're also going to change that to a break path at that node 
Okay, so now we have our word on our heart shape and we need and we have broken our um, broken our shape. What we need to do is make sure that this word is um, object to path, click object to path. Um, otherwise when you start breaking your shape it's going to like flip it over and move it around and um, that's obviously not what you are going to want to do and then you just want to with your heart selected click on uh, the section that you've now broken and just hit delete and your words will stay in the right spot and you'll have your heart shape there uh, now there's a couple of things here that I have uh, selected so this is randomly coming in a really nice little wee spot and actually I quite like where that is as well. You can, if you go to stroke style um, and here I have the cap selected as rounded uh, whereas this one it is a straight um, and obviously rounded is the one I want for this one here. And now we have our shape, which is which is great. There it is. Um, we can select the select the text if we want, and change the change the color to something else. And my suggestion at that point would be um, that you group those things together. So when you're moving them around, you're not going to um, cause any dramas with that. And that is how you create your little shape with your text in it. It's not too hard. And obviously, if you wanted to, you could create your um, heart shape, you know, to put something else in there. Alrighty, so that's that there. And you have your little wee, um, little wee heart shape that you can pop in. Um, okay, um, and there we have it. So um, that is our little heart shape from yesterday and it's in our new heart shape with the text around it. Um, so very quickly text on a wavy line that's really easy as well. So we're going to go over here to the um, draw bezier curves and straight lines I'm just going to click on that one. I might just move this down so you can see it a little bit and I'm just going to add in um, a couple of those. Now these are um, pointed and we want them wavy so if you just click on that little we know there and I'm just going to change that to a, a rounded one so same here um, just to make sure that that's sort of roughly where I want it and you can um, change those around uh, you can move the handles as well if you wanted to um, just to make that the way um, exactly where you want it to be. I'm not quite sure exactly what I did up there. Okay, I put that one back down again. Um, <clears throat> let's make this a wavy one, just like that. And then you get your text. Uh, putting text on a wavy line is nice and easy. Gonna hit enter, um, go to text and font because obviously I really can't see that. We're going to hit 200 and apply. Oh look I managed to spell everything right. Okay and then we are going to, you can double click on it and do those changes to the you know the text if you want to and I'm going to increase the size of that up just a smidgen as well and hit apply. Um, just to pop that over on this line. Now this line here, let's go and have a look. I want to make that a little bit bigger, so I'm just going to change the width up. Let's change it again. Let's change it to 10. Um, hit enter, and I'm also going to change that color to, oh, that's not what I want to change it to. I want to change the, that's one way of putting the color in underneath. That's what I was going to do before. But let's just change the stroke paint over to another color. Um, let's put it as a, a pinky color. There we go. Done. And I am going to remove the fill from underneath there because that's not what I wanted to do. Um, and then to put the text on the wavy line is exactly the same as what we did before. Oh, let's just change the let's just change the font very quickly um, over to impact. There we go. Um, and that's a really good one to show you that you might want to increase the distance between the uh, letters. There, I find that quite handy for the quite chunky quite chunky letters. 
Oh, and is my voice really starting to go again? <clears throat> Okay, sorry, I have been sick these last couple of days. Uh, now you select your wavy lines and you select your um, path that you've got there and you're going to go text and put on path and there you have it. Um, if you want to increase that font size up to 300, let's do that and that will move it along a little bit. Um, with this particular text, I would probably also um, increase the space between the words as well. And that should make that easier, a little bit easier to read. And let's just increase that up just a little bit more. And if you want to sense that that little bit more, you could put a couple of spaces in the front there. And that is how you put text on a wavy line. <laughs> it's not very difficult. Alrighty, so there you go. Um, text on a wavy line, nice and simple. Create your shape, uh, create your words, and then. Um, hold down select your text and uh, shift and select your line and you're just going up to text uh, put on path um, and with your shape up here very similar thing create your heart shape or whatever shape it might happen to be and then you create your text make sure your shape is a path and then you select your text and uh, select your object and you go um, <coughs> Um, object to path and that's how you do it it's nice our oh, text to path and it's nice and easy I hope that is helpful and I'm sorry my voice is finally deciding to give out this morning the next little tutorial that I'm going to be doing is going to be looking at putting text inside a shape where you want to manipulate the shape of the text. So obviously this originally was a, um, a leg and I wanted to put in some text into it. Uh, you could do that say like with a rolling pin or an arrow. I will be doing an arrow actually as the introductory example for that and just showing you how to bend, um, bend text around objects. Alrighty, anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave any comments if there's anything in particular uh, you want to know how to do. I actually have a fairly big list um, from requests from people, so um, we'll see how we go. But do leave um, any requests if there's anything else I can help you with. And I'm going to go, and I think I really need a cup of tea. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys.